Okay, people, today we're gonna rock and roll with a, a, another classic of flies that I did it, uh, I would say probably 20 years ago. Um, it's on the same uh, peanut butter family. It's gonna change the colors. Um, that's the only difference. But it's good, it's good to have it, this uh, flies in your arsenal, especially if you go uh, fishing in blue water. And also because it will keep on, you know, keep you practicing on the peanut butter. The more you practice, the better you get it, and the easier it will be for you to tie any other flies uh, involving, a, you know, AP materials. Um, enough talking, let's get starting over here. And of course, we're going to need a hook, which I already have over here. Uh, I will uh, use a short shank. If you want to use a, a long shank, it's, it's your choice. Uh, I'd rather use the short shank. We got two, two sparkle over here, uh, blue pearl and holographic silver. I'm going to put them over here on my side. Silky fire for the gills. I have a little piece over here ready to go into the flies. And I got the white. I believe I have a white over here in some place. Yep, here it is. I'm gonna put this on the side for the time being. So we got the white. And let's get started selecting the material. And here we are. This it flies, the anchovies is, uh, it's on the light call, so we're not gonna kind of overdress we make a nice and light. And there's going to be two bunches of each color. Okay, got the white. Okay, done. We're gonna do the top colors, which is the anchovies. It's already blended, so you don't have to worry about guessing the color. This also is a, it's a really nice color when you do tie a small bait fish just to give it a illusion of uh, the bait fish himself. It's, it, I love these colors a lot. Um, if I remember correctly, this has a blend of uh, four different colors of uh, the original EP fibers. So let's grab it to a small bunch over here. Go one. And this makes two. We're going to put the rest into the bag. Here, we got the white, we can do the pink. And this is the, the original way I tie these flies with three colors the top color, the bottom color, and uh, the lateral colors. So, again. If you don't feel like it's necessarily for you to have the third color, which is the pink on this case, it's not a must. I'm just showing you the way I did it when I originated this color. Um, the silk, I got it. It's right here. So let's get busy. Let's see what we can come out over here with it. Clear monofilament. I use a clear monofilament, uh, by now you should know why. Because I'm dealing with synthetic, and it will blend nicely with synthetic. And uh, the, because it's clear, it will blend with any colors that I tie with it. So basically it's one color, do for all other colors. 
Okay, my guilds are in place. Now I'm gonna just trim it sideways. There you go. I'm gonna do the pearl magic for the tail. There it is. there and let's get started with the top call let's see I'm trying to grab it the one is as a more fiber it looks like it's the same I'm gonna just cut a little piece over here that eventually I'm gonna use at the end so I'm putting over here on the side and this should be fine. Tap it. this fly to be that big anyway so we'll see what we got over here yep like it it's good so I got the top colors you know, keep in mind that we have a three different colors of applying these flies. So it's very, very important that you keep the colors separated nicely, the top and the bottom. And then we're going to apply the third colors on the side. So let me see this one. Seems to be thicker. Got a little bit. I'll put them on the side just in case so we're going to need it. Okay. All right. Let's go on the bottom. Kind of measure it. Stretch a little bit more. Right here. All right. Let's see what we got. Yep. Hold on the other side. The two colors are separated, as you can see it. On both sides, now we're gonna go with the pink. And then we're gonna just divide it, this little bunch. You know, F and use F on one side and half on the other side. Go around the threads. Just catch the fibers nicely. Go on the other side. There you go. 
I think we got it. All right, so good. Looks good. Now we're gonna do the holographic silver. The sparkle is about eight inch long, so it will cover the entire flies. And that's what I like about it, the length more than anything else. So here we got, ready to put the glue on it. Here it is. And ready for the next step. The next step is gonna be pretty much the same. So we gonna cut this one a little bit longer than the other. I will do like that. Yep. I think this will do it. Just like that. We'll do the same thing with the white. Measure first. I can see this white is too much. Let me get a taper first. And then I will remove it, what I think is unnecessarily. I will say maybe a tiny bit more. There you go. Again, pay attention. Divided the two color, top and bottom. Because we're still gonna have to put it the middle color, which is the pink. So pay attention to that for now. Here goes this is the pink. Tapered a little bit. Around the threads, one longer than the other. So we can build some shoulders over here at the same time so that uh, it will give it a nice round body like an anchovies look like. Okay. And we position this right in the middle between the top collar and the bottom collar. Looks good to me. On every directions, we're gonna put a little flash. We glue it and we go to step number three. Very good. Okay, step number three. Let's taper this first. So that will save a little time on the next step. Now we split in half. 
Are we going to go on top? There we go. This will be for the last step. Same thing is going to be with the white. I think this little piece belongs over here. Good. Up. And both. You want to have a nice uh, finished heads over here, you know, just for the appearance more than anything else. The fish really doesn't care, but we do. So if, again, if it looks good to you, believe him, it's going to look even better to the fish. Add cement. Good, it penetrates right into it. And we'll see what we got now. I'm gonna make this fly some nice and cylinder. My scissor ready. It looks very good. The right amount of the fibers. Okay, let's see over here what do we got. When you're dealing with uh, um, longer flies like that, it's always a good idea to trim from the front to the back. I really don't want these flies to be chubby. If you know what I mean, I'd rather have it nice and slender.
I think this is it. Let's see. You always will find that the, the fiber that it, you don't like it and you just want to get rid of it. I don't know what it is, but I'm sure you feel the same. All right, I think that's it. Put back in the vise for the eyes. We're going to prepare the eyes. Just like that. We're going to use a 7.5 mil. And I'm using a blue pearl. This blue pearl, they're looking pretty good. They look like a 3Ds more than, than plastic eyes. I always like this eye. This, by the way, is the eyes I've been using from day one. You know, after 25 plus years, I'm still using this eyes and, I mean, this eyes and I really, yeah, there isn't many eyes out there, don't get me wrong, easier to deal with it, but I'm used to this. They do what they're supposed to do, especially in the flies. They added the right amount of, uh, weight as well and they really do the job you know they look good they're really looking good so that's why i'm i'm using them still all right let's burn it got one side On the other side, are oh, we good? We're good to go. Here's my goop. I might have to trim this back stem a little bit. Okay. A nice amount of glue. Okay. So that you can fill the the hole over there and if you feel like it's not enough, don't be afraid. To put extras. Alright, I number one. And eye number two. Position it. Make sure they are on the right spot. And there it is. An anchovy. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, um, pattern. Again, you can do in many different sizes. If you're doing a smaller one, like a little minnow, I can guarantee you that they will catch pretty much anything anywhere. Um, but that doesn't mean, again, that, yes, this I designed it for blue water. That doesn't mean you can 
uh, fish this fly in shore as well. I hope you enjoy it and until next time, you know, be well and, and be safe. Take care.